Hello everybody, this is Hammer Tracker here. Today we got a little bit of a different video because everything we're going to talk about today doesn't exist. Things we want to see in 2023, preferably announced at SHOT Show and then actually made and shipped. A lot of times things get talked about at SHOT Show and then nothing happens with it. So I'm going to kind of go through things that I would like to see and if they release it, I would definitely get one and be wanting to review it. So let's start with the PDP subcompact, like this PPQ subcompact. You know, the PDP has replaced the PPQ, and as of yet, there's not a subcompact version of it. I think it would be popular, and I think it would be a good continuation of that legacy to have a, PD a PDP subcompact, especially if it's optics ready. Because the nice thing about optics ready, you put an optic on it if you want one. If not, you just use the sights. The next thing I would like to see is a 380 version of the Hellcat. Same reason we kind of ranked the P365 380 high in our top five, the Hellcat would fall into that same picture of having a slightly lighter, lower recoiling gun that you can use in carry on the ankle and stuff like that. So if Springfield Armory comes out with a Hellcat and 380, I'm definitely there. Move back here, a compact or subcompact version of the Smith & Wesson m and metal version. They've got a metal one in the full size, which is a nice gun, but the compact or the subcompact would really be a good thing. It'd be kind of what the CSX should have been. And if, for people that like the metal frame guns that are going to want to carry them, a compact or a subcompact would really be there. Kind of moving along, Springfield Armory makes a lot of 1911s, and they make really nice 1911s. They make some inexpensive concealed carry, and they make some really high-end competition guns. And they tend to do it less expensively than everybody else with really high quality. So what I'd like to see them do is something similar to the Ed Brown Cobra Carry with a bobbed back end and all you know, kind of uh, fluffed up like the Cobra Carry, but in a Springfield Armory. Because my guess would be it would be more available and significantly less, less expensive and be popular because people do carry 1911 still and they're awesome range guns and they're fun range day guns. So if Springfield Armory continues to expand their 1911 line, something like the Cobra Carry would be a perfect expansion of the line. And last, and kind of not least, High Point. Stop talking about the next generation Yeet Cannon and actually ship the thing. The High Point still has a place in the world. It actually is, for what it, it claims to be, at the price point they set it at, it's actually a decent gun. These are guns that are meant to be inexpensive and not need a lot of loving to keep working. You can put these in a, t a boat, a toolbox, truck gun. You really don't need to kind of really worry about these things to keep them reliable. The next generation would just kind of bring them forward. Now they did announce a 10 millimeter, and I know that there's a few evaluation copies floating around. As Soon as I can get my hands on one of the 10 millimeters, I'm gonna get it. I've got their 10 millimeter rifle and it actually worked quite well. It would be interesting to see how the high point 10 millimeter pistol works. So high point, get, get that next generation of this out and make sure you start shipping those 10 millimeters because I think they actually have a place in the world and there are people that would buy them. Beyond that, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, click that bell to be notified if you do. Check us out on Facebook, Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, Getter, Rumble, pretty much everywhere. And thank you.